Hey everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. I'm Ishan Sharma and today we'll be talking about the top 10 JavaScript projects that you can build as a beginner. Let's get started. All right, so first of all, it's really important that you keep building projects as much as you can, right? Whenever you go into web development, it's important that you build as many projects as possible. Talking about JavaScript specifically, it's important that you understand vanilla JavaScript fully before going on to some frameworks, some libraries, learning React, Vue, Angular, whatever you will be doing. First of all, have a firm understanding about how JavaScript works and just the quirks and the nuances of JavaScript itself before you move on to the advanced stuff, right? That's a mistake that I did when I was starting to learn JavaScript last year. And that definitely was not the best thing for me, right? So just make sure that you learn it properly. And the best way to learn that would be by building projects, right? So today we'll be talking about these 10 projects and starting off from the first one, this would be to build yourself a clock. Okay. So a JavaScript clock, uh, I'll be having some images over here. You can take a look at how that would actually look, but basically a JavaScript clock would be a way for you to just you know, create this clock that would uh, that would look similar to what the clock you have in your own house. So it would just be like a digital clock. It would be running based upon a second. Every single second, it will actually change, and uh, it would teach you how to basically make same simple variables, have simple if conditions, and uh, you would be able to like make it look good using CSS and HTML. So that's what you can do. That would be the first project: building yourself a JavaScript clock. The second one would be to actually build yourself a JavaScript musical instrument, right? So there is this one website called as patatap.com. Okay. Patatap.com. You can just go over there. Basically how that works is that you can press any specific uh, key and every single key relates to actually a sound that they would actually, you know, have. So you can just click on that and there would be a sound that you would hear from your laptop or from your phone. Right, so that's what you can also do. You can try to build something like that that would teach you how to interact with uh, with some with some assets. Right, so in this case, you'll be having some sounds that you will be integrating. Whenever you press a particular key, you would be having that sound. So that's what you can also try to implement. Now, the third project that you can start building is going to be a JavaScript calculator. Right, the good old calculator you can start building. The good part about this is that it will teach you just how to basically create simple buttons in in you know HTML, then then make it look good using CSS, and after that implement the functionality using JavaScript. And uh, that would be a great experience for you. You'll learn how basic components work. How does the on click event work? You'll understand basically how everything works. How does everything function in JavaScript? How does the event loop works, right? So that's what you can learn from that part. That would be the third project moving on to the fourth one. And this one is going to be to guess the color game, right? Guess the color game. Basically how this works is that you would get an RGB value, a random RGB value. And after that, you will be getting some options. Okay. So the options can be having various colors and you need to define, you need to pick the color that is the closest or equivalent to the RGB value that is presented over there. Right? So it can be like RGB 255, 255, 255. That would be, uh, that would be the white color. So now you need to pick the color from the options that you're provided. This would also be a great project that you can make. You can also implement uh, difficulty level. So it can be like an easy level, intermediate level and like a hard level. That is what you can do. And uh, that would be the project number four. Now the project number five would be to build yourself an SIP compound interest calculator, right? So you might have seen these whenever you go on to some like financial website or something, right? Some, some broker website, you will see these calculators. You can just put in how much would you invest for how much time would you invest? How much interest do you want to have? And it would give you the sum of amount that you would end up making at the very end, right? So that is what you can try to implement. It's very simple. Uh, again, you can make it look good using CSS. That's also something that is important. If you are learning front end development, CSS is an important part of that. So that's what you can do. You can build yourself a simple SIP compound interest calculator. You can allow the user to put in some numbers and then you will have a function at the back, which would calculate how much the actual amount would be. And you can just throw it out in like an alert message, or you can make it appear over there as well. Right. So that would be another project that you can make as a beginner. Now the sixth project would be to build yourself some sort of a game, right? So you can have games like the snake game. You have tic-tac-toe game. You also have that game in which you have those two paddles. It's called the pong game, right? So you can try to build all of those games. That would be project number six. 
Number seven can also be to build some more complex games. So for example, you have a Tetris game that you can try to build. You have a Flappy Bird game. So you can try to build all of these games. Again, in this one, you'll be having motion. So you'll need to understand some physics and how those actually will be working in JavaScript, right? So that would again be a great experience for you. This would be project number six and project number seven. Moving on to the eighth one, and this one would be to build yourself a to-do list. Right, so finally, you'll, you'll be learning about how the CRUD functionality really works. How can you create an element? How can you read uh, the element? How can you delete it? How can you update the element? And all of that you'll be able to learn using the to-do list, right? And it would also be of use to you once you make it look good and when, once it is actually, you know, it actually works. So that's what you can do. That would be project number eight. And now the ninth project can be to build some sort of a UI component, right? So all of the components that you normally use, like a nav bar, like a carousal, an image slider, you can try to build those using simple vanilla JavaScript, okay? So try to build those, try to use some CSS as well, try to see if you can make some interactivity. You can also make those forms in which you have that validation kind of a thing that you will need to have that add the rate for it to be an email in that particular form input. So things like that you can try to implement using plain JavaScript. There is also another option for you to build like a pop-up, right? So whenever someone clicks on OK, it says, are you sure you want to continue? You can just build that component itself, you know, just, just by using plain JavaScript. So that can be another thing that you can do. Now the last one, the 10th project that you can build would be to make some sort of a weather API. Now the, the, the goal here is to learn about how APIs really work, right? So you can take a look at the weather API, you can take a look at the Yahoo Finance API as well. Uh, you can take a look at the open weather map API. That is also something that I have used. I think it definitely is a good thing that you can use it and you can learn about how to get information about certain areas just by having an API request, right? So that's what you can also try to do. Um, again, just by using plain JavaScript and you can also try to make it look good by using CSS. So that would be pretty much it. That was the list of 10 applications that you can start building if you are new to JavaScript and you want to get some experience, you want to have something in your portfolio that can get you like a junior developer job. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me just go through them once again so all of you are clear with what you want to build. Starting off, you know, want to build like a JavaScript clock, JavaScript calculator, JavaScript musical instrument like paratap.com. You can also build like a SIP compound interest calculator. You can build, uh, what was it? Uh, you can build a UI component. You can try to build a weather map using some API. You can build a guess that color app as well. And then you can also try to build some games. Maybe that can be like a Tetris. Uh, Flappy Bird, or you can also build like Snake, Pong, Maze, whatever you want to build. So yeah, this would be the list of all the projects that you can make. Let me know what are the ones that you started making or some other projects that you would want to add in this list. Let me know in the comments as well. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you all in the next one.